Historically, that condition has not been treated. Patients have been just told that they should be followed, and that is currently part of the guideline. But in fact, the new myeloma diagnostic definition that was presented in November of 2014, and I'm one of the co-authors for that, include three biochemical factors for the definition of multiple myeloma. So patients can be diagnosed with multiple myeloma requiring therapy without being sick, having symptoms. You could have biomarkers showing that you have multiple myeloma. So with the presentation I gave with smoldering myeloma, that pushes it even further, and you look in people who are a little bit earlier than these biomarkers, so there are earlier signs of biomarkers, and you show uh, that, and these studies show that uh, early treatment can drastically lead to deep, rapid responses that seem to be very durable, and talking of this minimal residual disease negativity, you can reach 10 to minus six, or eliminating one cell in a million uh, with therapy. So I think that's very encouraging. Uh, and patients who have high-risk smoldering myeloma, I think should consider going to a center uh, with specialists uh, and also seek uh, opportunities to potentially participate in clinical trials to delay or potentially even prevent development of, mul uh, development of multiple myeloma.